Hi, one of our earliest customers, a well-wisher and a friend found this slide in one of our conferences and she was quite impressed with the design. The unique thing about this design is you can remove this piece like this and you can see that it is a very beautiful way of integrating a shape with the text. So she wanted to know how to achieve this. In my opinion, these kind of effects are quite easy to achieve using tools like Affinity Designer, Adobe Illustrator, etc. But I took this up as a challenge and tried to create the same kind of an effect in PowerPoint. And when I tried to create in PowerPoint, I also saw an opportunity to add some nice animation and make this into a beautiful display slide. You can replace the text my goal with any other text of your choice. It could be like happy birthday or our target achieved or anything that you want to say. And the text 1 million subscribers can be replaced with the name of the person you want to wish or any of the milestones that you have achieved etc. So there are quite a few practical uses for this subtle but very interesting design. So let us learn how to create this beautiful design from scratch. The first step is to write our text. So let me go to the auto shapes gallery, pick up the text box tool and I'm going to replicate whatever that I had shown you earlier. Let me write the text my goal here and the font I'm going to choose is a handwritten font called Pacifico. It is a free font that you can download from Google. Select this and let us have this really large. So maybe around 96 would be the ideal size. I'm going to keep it somewhere over here and just to ensure that it is bang in the center, I'm going to use align center option. So it is exactly where I want it to be. The next step is to make this into a design. So we are going to connect these two words together and we're going to have some kind of a flourish that connects the sticks to the underlying shape which we are going to draw later. So let us draw a very simple design right now. Let us go to shapes and then using the lines tool here we have the curve option. Let us select that and let us try to have a flourish drawn here. So let us click on somewhere around the starting point of the text and then click here, click here and then click here. Can you see it's nothing but a wave kind of a shape and then you try to retrace the path once again and you don't really have to be extremely precise. You just can click wherever it looks like a natural curve and then go to the start almost and then connect the starting point and you will have this kind of a shape. Then let us create a duplicate of this by pressing Ctrl D and we can have a copy of this somewhere over here. That looks beautiful. Now I'm going to connect these two text elements. So I'm going to use a very simple rectangular shape or rounded rectangle shape. It doesn't really matter. So let us create that shape and make it slightly thicker. And then using the rotation handle, I'm going to draw a bridge between this shape that I see here. Text Y and G are connected like this. And you can see it's a very simple kind of a bridge that we have created. Now let me select everything. Go to merge shapes and use this option called union and now everything is converted into one shape. And let me change this color to say yellow color. Go to shape outline and say no outline. Beautiful. The next step is to draw a shape that would hold the text that we want to write underneath. So let us go to shapes, pick up the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle which pretty much covers the text. And then I'm also going to ensure that there is a bit of a margin to the right and to the left and they are pretty much of equal distance. Let me right click and send this to back so I can position this a little bit better. Next, I'm going to select this shape here. Hold the shift button down and select the rectangle. Then go to merge shapes and use the fragment tool. Now let us select this shape that we got here and give it a different color so we can see what we have got. Now we have this underlying shape which will be helping us to write our text. Now all we need to do is to remove the unnecessary shapes. So you can see that all this is unnecessary. So I just click and delete and I see that this piece is also unnecessary. So I click and delete and there are certain pieces in the center which don't really add to the beautiful design. So I'm going to remove all of those and we can remove some of these shapes as well. Now that looks so beautiful, isn't it? I can also remove some of these elements that are just hanging out like this. It is not really looking very professional at the end. So we have deleted it. Next, we are going to take this to the next level by adding some animation and video elements. Let us go to insert video and then select one of the stock videos that comes with PowerPoint. 
I'm using Microsoft 365, so I have access to these assets that come directly with PowerPoint. If you're using some other version of PowerPoint, then you can always get any video of your choice and can have it as a slide background. Let me choose this one. This looks pretty nice. And let me say insert. I'm going to align this with the top left corner and make sure that it covers the entire slide end to end. Right click and send this to back. And then we are going to have the playback option selected and see that it automatically plays and it is a default setting. We don't really have to do anything and it will automatically loop until stopped. So I have not changed any of these settings. Now, what is the point in having such a beautiful video if it can't even be seen? Let me select this shape where I'm going to write my text, right click and then go to format shape and add a little bit of transparency. So let me make this slightly transparent like so. Yeah, that looks beautiful around 60% transparency. And if you want the text to be very clearly seen, you can use a white color as your background. So the text will be pretty much beautiful. If you want to, if you think that this is too much of transparency, then you can always reduce the transparency. It is completely up to you. I've kept it at say around 50%. Next, I'm going to add a bit of animation to this shape here. Let us go to animations and let us have the animation pane open so you can see what I'm doing here. Let us go to one of the emphasis animations. I'm going to choose this option called object color, which is one of the emphasis animations. And you can see that it changes to this orange color by default. Of course, we can always choose any other color. Maybe I can choose some kind of a light gray color because it is in line with the color in the background. And we can have this happen with previous. So right at the start, we can have this start. And then I'm going to increase the duration to say around 1.25 to 1.5 seconds. And let us go to the effect options and have it repeat till end of slide. So let us go to timing and then go to repeat and say until end of slide. So it keeps repeating until end of slide. And we have got this coming up pretty beautifully. Now I'm going to write my text here. Let us go to home and let us pick up the text box tool and let me write my text. Of course, I'm going to be quite ambitious here and say 1 million subscribers. I know with the support of viewers like you, I'm sure we will achieve this beautiful milestone as well. Let me choose uh, a text font which is pretty beautiful. This is the font that I'm going to choose and let us really increase the font size to somewhere around 96. Maybe this is a little too much. No, not really. I can place it somewhere over here. Now that looks beautiful. Now, the one last thing that I want to do is to add a white outline to this underlying shape. So I'm going to select this shape here, go to shape outline and choose a white outline and let us go to slideshow and see our creation. Can you see how beautiful this effect looks? You can use it in any number of ways and your audience will definitely ask you how you created this effect. At that time, you can point them to presentation process YouTube channel and they will thank you for it and we will definitely thank you for it. If you liked what you saw, please give this video a like. And if you want to take your PowerPoint skills to the next level, then you can always join our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. I will leave a link to this useful product in the description box below the video. Click on the link, check out more details about this product. If you want to watch another text animation tutorial to impress your audience, then you can always click on the link that you see right now on your screen. And every video in our presentation process YouTube channel explores a different way to use the basic tools in a creative way. So go ahead, click on the link, watch the video, and I will see you inside that video.